Welcome to another video. We're going to be solving the system of equations not by Gaussian elimination or Gauss-Jordan elimination or algebra. We're going to be using Kramer's rule, which heavily depends on you knowing how to find the determinant of a matrix. Now, if you don't know how to find the determinant of a, there are three variables here, a three by three matrix, you can't use Kramer's rule for this. You have to first know how to find the determinant of a three by three matrix. If this, if we have two variables and two um, equations, then you have to know for two by two. So just make sure that knowing determinants is important for you to use Kramer's rule, but it has an amazing advantage. If you notice, I had solved the system of equations before using a Gauss-Jordan elimination, and uh, we got certain, the answers. But we didn't know which answer we were going to get first, because sometimes when you do elimination or substitution, boom, you just see an answer pop up. Oh, you got Y first, and then you use Y to get X, and then you use both of them to get Z. But when you use Kramer's rule, you choose which one you want to solve first. Because sometimes in a system of equations, you're just interested in one thing. What is the price? Or how many do I need? Or um, how, what is the population? So depending on what you need, you just choose if you want to get X first or Y first or Z first. That is the major advantage of Kramer's rule. The major disadvantage of Kramer's rule is that if you don't know how to find the determinant of the matrix that you generate, maybe it has 21 variables. Now, you don't want to start using determinants when you have 21 by 21 matrix to solve. You might as well just do gauss jordan elimination because that one most likely will be easier than you computing the um, computing 21 determinants. <laughs> That's going to take forever. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to use Kramer's rule to solve a system of equations like this and the fastest way to do it. So let's get into the video. So let me state first what Kramer's rule says. Kramer's rule says that if you compute, if you generate a matrix from this, let's say you have a matrix, or you want to find the determinant of the coefficients, the matrix of coefficients. So you have three minus one, and you have this to be one, and this is one, 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 and the third one is two, three, four. If you compute the determinant of this, you can call it this triangle, okay? This is the determinant of what you have here. You just compute this determinant, you get this. Now, you decide, which one do I want to solve for first, X, Y, or Z? I remember the Gaussian elimination, we got Z first, and then you keep going. If you do Gaussian elimination, you usually will get the last one first. But what if I'm interested in the middle one first, or this one first? So I'm going to tell myself that if I create another matrix, which I'm going to create here, I'm going to show you what to do. So the determinant of another matrix you're going to create is going to be, let's go to this one. Let's say we want to find X first. Okay, we're going to replace the coefficients representing x with the answers we had on the right. So we're going to say that instead of writing 3, 1, 2, I'm going to write minus 4, 2, 8, minus 4, 2, 8. So I've replaced this, which means I'm com computing for x, and then I'm going to leave the other two in the matrix, which would be minus 1, 1, 3, and this is going to be 1, 1, 4. The determinant of this matrix is what I call the determinant with respect to x. That's it. And guess what? Guess what my x is going to be? The value of x is equal to this determinant I'm going to get here, divided by this main determinant. That's going to be my x. So if you have a number for this, if you have a number for this, you're good. So in finding this determinant, or all of them in this case, I'm going to use the rule of Saru since I have a three by three determinant to compute and it's the easier path for me to take. So how do you use the rule of Saru's? Um, let me make a box here, okay? What you're gonna do is, you're gonna write the three columns of this, but you're gonna copy the last two, 
the first two rather than put them at the end and then compute. Let me see what size I have here. I think I'm going to do the copy of the first two. You know what? I'm going to just go this way. So I'm going to have three, one, two, and I'll have minus one, one, three, and I have one, one, four. And now I'm going to copy the first two columns, put them here again. That's three, one, two, and then I have minus one, one, and three. You can multiply this way, multiply this way, multiply this way. Those are the things you're going to subtract. And then you can multiply this way. Let me get a different color of chalk. Then you can multiply this way, multiply this way, multiply this way. You're going to get an answer. So let's take the blue ones will be the positive ones that you then you're going to subtract the green ones. So three times one times four gives me 12. So um, this is equal to 12 plus if I go this way, what do I get? Let me write 12 here. Okay, this is 12. If I multiply this way, I get minus two. If I multiply this way, I get plus three. 12 minus two plus three is 13. So I'm gonna have 13 here. Minus, I'm gonna do for the top. If I multiply this way, what do I get? I'm gonna get two. If I multiply this way, I'm gonna get plus nine. If I multiply this way, I'll get minus four. 2 plus 9 minus 4 is 11 minus 4. And what does that give me? That's 7. Okay. What is 13 minus 7? 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. So the determinant I'm looking for here is equal to 6. So this is equal to 6. That's it. You're done with the rule of Sirus. The next thing I'm going to do is do the same thing here. Let's write out the, um, the matrix. So this is going to be... So using the rule of Sirus again, the greens are going to go, well, the greens went up. So let's do the greens going up. So this is going to be this way. This is going to be 8. If I multiply this, this is minus 12. If I multiply this way, this is going to be minus 8. Okay, so that's going to be, what's the total there? Minus 12. Okay, now I'm going to multiply this way, the positive one. So if I multiply the, the main diagonal, that's going to be minus 16. If I multiply this way, that's minus 8. I multiply this way, that's plus 6. And that gives me 18. Okay, so what I'm going to get as my diagonal is going to be this minus this. Minus 18 minus minus 12. That gives me negative 6. So I can clearly get my answer here that x is equal to this divided by this, which is going to be equal to minus 6 over 6 which is minus one. That is the value of x. You see, Kramer's rule allows you to pick which one you want to solve first. Okay, so now I am going to calculate for z, and then I'll leave you to tell me what the answer is to y. Make sure you use Kramer's rule. Okay, so let's calculate for z. I'm just gonna skip. So the matrix for z is gonna look like this. Remember, this is the main one. You want to calculate for z, so you replace this column that represents z with the answer. That's all. So the matrix you're going to be determined, the determinant of the matrix you're working on now will look like this. Let the blue ones go down this way. So what does this give us? This is 24. And this is minus 4. And this is minus 12. Okay, 24 minus 12 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. So the answer here is 8 for the bottom ones. And then we go here, we multiply. This is going to be minus 8. And we go this way. This is 9 times 2, that's plus 18. And then we go this way, that's going to be minus 8. Okay, so this is equal to 2. So here we can say that this is now equal, the determinant we're looking for is equal to 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 equals 6. We'll do the work here. So we can now say that z equals this over, which is equal to 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. So z equals 1, x equals minus 1. We now need to have this. Okay, now it is your turn to generate the matrix and calculate it. That's Kramer's rule. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.